Welcome back guys to another video. We got a pretty exciting one today. This is the like most average comment I've got over the last two weeks now. I've been getting like hundreds of comments and DMs and questions about this particular video. It's gonna be a bike build video on my dirt jump bike. It's a custom painted decade frame from NS Bikes. And I think you guys are gonna be pretty, pretty excited about this one. The bronze gold custom painted NS Bikes decade frame. I'm like blown away about this frame. What do you think, Tail? This is the coolest frame. The color is insane. Yeah. It's so sick in different kinds of light. When it's sunny outside, it's gold, kind of. It's like gold brown-ish. So that's why I fell in love with the color because it shifts depending on what kind of weather it is outside. If it's cloudy, it's gonna be more like this right now, I think. Right now it's pretty brown yeah. and bronze, right? Anyways, I'm so stoked on it. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below what you think about this color because I'm blown away about it. So there were some good guesses. A, a lot of like guesses on bronze, which is fairly clo close because this is like bronze gold. Yeah, we're gonna build up this bike today and I'm so stoked about it. I can't stop saying that. I'm just too stoked and excited about this. We've lined up all the parts here. <laughs> Yeah, we're just gonna do a proper bike building video today and for this bike we don't need to go to a bike shop and get it built up. I think I could manage to build a jump bike up because I do that a couple of times a year. Yeah. We're probably not gonna do it perfectly anyways, but I think we could pull it off. Should we just get right into it? Yeah, what do we start with? I have no idea what we're gonna start with. On a jump bike it's pretty normal to start with the crank set, I think. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, let's do it. As I said in my uh, Enduro bike build video, I'm gonna run the, the new crank set system and bottom bracket from SRAM, which is called uh, Dub. And I'm gonna run the X01 with the silver logos. And Boy. it just looks so freaking good. And it's gonna match up really good with the bike. That's gonna look so sick. Yeah, with the grip and everything. What uh, length, length is uh, it? I'm running 165 millimeter long cranks. I've I have never done that really. I've always been riding with uh, 170, so this is a bit of a change up for me. So it's gonna be scary, baby. <laughs> oh, it works perfectly. Nice. <laughs> not too much, not too little, just like the perfect amount. So a crank stopper for you guys that doesn't know what a crank stopper is, is I'm put, putting a piece of rubber between my bottom bracket and the cranks because that makes my cranks not spin when I do tail whips and kick the bike around because you don't want the pedals to go around because then you'll miss them and you will never be able to get kids when you get older if you land on your balls. When you're screwing on this thing uh, you kind of like determine how much you want to press the crank set together or like you want to move it that way. So the more I screw here the more I move the crank set that way and that creates more pressure onto the rubber and that's obviously gonna make it more more of a crank stopper so that's an insane combo tail do you see that yeah that looks so cool perfect crank stopper yeah wow i'm super stoked about the fork actually i'm gonna run this like gun smoke slash gray slash i don't even know what color it is like silver probably but most people will say and I had this fork in mind because I saw some photos on it like early winter. I had this fork in mind when I picked the color for this frame because, I mean, just look at it. It's just like a pretty subtle match. A lot of people would probably argue that a black fork would fit better. And I know a lot of people will comment that, but what's the fun in that? I've had like five black bikes, like fully black bikes. And this one's like way cooler. If you see this color in real life and this color in real life, the match is like insane, right? Yeah. And I was fortunate enough to get like matching logos on the wheels from Novatech. These are matching with the silver. And chain. Chain, disc, and like yeah, silver details all over the bike, but like saddle ones. Okay. And I'm gonna run uh, another Chromex stem. Because I'm, yeah, yeah, the new, yeah. <laughs> it's coming, it's coming. The new brand is launching soon. 
Be patient. Things are coming. Okay. What's your technique? Today's technique... Last time I cut one, I had a tool for this. And I didn't really like that because that's no challenge at all. Like, so I got pipe cutters here, two of them. But just to annoy people, I'm gonna use the saw <laughs> and do it bad. Because there's no chance on this planet that I'll do this perfectly straight. Looks kind of straight. Let's go for it. Oh my god. No, I don't want to see. Can you tell on the camera? Yeah, you guys can see it's... it's... <laughs> well... Next mission. Yeah, and this is literally the worst thing on the whole bike, to mount the star nut. I hate mounting my star nut. You actually want to see how I do the first thing. Yeah, show me. Oh, oh, oh. oh. <laughs> well, look. it's done. Well, it's not straight, but it's like almost in there. Kind of yeah, good, yeah. It's, it's pretty good. I don't think this this is bad at all. Look at that. Look at the angle. It's almost straight. That was straight as all hell. Maybe. We'll see when I mount it. <laughs> That's my life lately. Just editing, writing, gym. Editing, writing, gym. Editing, writing, gym. Anyways, I got a comment about someone saying, why aren't you like more careful with your new parts and uh, your new packages and stuff? Well, I am a bike rider and if you watch my videos on this channel, you've seen that we are doing pretty extreme stuff with our stuff. So I think they're supposed to like be able to take a hit in the garage when I just drop it on the floor from here. Right? Does that make sense? I guess, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, if they're supposed to take like a slam from like 10 meters up in the air, should be able to drop it on the floor. And a lot of things that are going into place here because of the gyro. First, you kind of mount like all the headset stuff, then a spacer, and then you have a gyro plate here that is custom made by my uncle. Uh, it's pretty hard to get a hold of a good one, I think. So for bar, I'm running, well, yeah, as I said. It's no secret that it's called Tidal, so I'm just gonna say it's a Tidal bar. I take back everything I said about that star not being the hardest part to mount on my bike. Seat on a seat post takes the price. Seat and seat post is the same as I'm running on my old bike. Uh, just a SRAM descendant seat post and a Chromex seat, but it's black and the old one was great. Uh, I've been trying out some new grips lately and uh, these ones are like, you can cut them in your own length. So that's why they are super long. If I would put them on right now, it would just be ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna try these out. They're pretty soft, but not too soft. So I think they're gonna work well with gloves. They're called ODI long necks, probably. Yeah. Maybe. First, I'm gonna mount the, the brake lever before, because if I just cut them right here, yeah, I'll just have to cut the, the grips after the brake lever, you know? Yeah, that makes sense. What do you think? Maybe I should measure my old bike. Around 16 and a half centimeters goes there. And the old brake cleaner trick. You can use any sort of like dry cleaning oil for this, I'd say. That's gonna work out. Ooh. Good old stretch. Yeah, stretching out the grip so they get a little bit of softer. In straight, right? Yeah. Oh. Nice. Show me the crack. Oh, a lot of yellow ones lately. Oh. I think I'm probably every mechanic's worst nightmare. I always just like use a tool and then <laughs> like that. So I need to start getting my shit together. Just like that. Pretty nice, huh? Yeah, that looks good. So for the lower cables, I'm running 
the Odyssey GT3. No, not the GT3, that would be a Porsche. The G3 cables from Odyssey. They always work out pretty good and they're re re reliable. For the rear caliper, I'm running a, a vid BB7 Mountain. BB7 S Mountain. Hurt. This kind of hurts to put on tape onto a brand new frame with this paint job. But yeah, <laughs> when you ride gyros, you can't really get rid of this sound if you don't tape it. Uh, what's next, Till? For the people that doesn't know why I'm running a gyro, it's because of this. I can spin my bar how many times I want. Like I can do how many tail whips I want and I can do how many bars I want. Because at a contest, like we have 10 to 15 features and you need to do, usually you need to do like double combos on every single feature or not every single, but yeah, you get what I mean. And you need a lot of spins. Should we try to prep the wheels? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Oh, this looks yeah, yeah. so sick. Look, I'm pretty stoked about this. Oh. Look how they're matching. Oh, so perfect. 3214 is not really like, it's not the heaviest gear ratio you could have. It's pretty like easy because when you ride a lot of skate parks and BMX tracks and like a lot of techie riding, you kind of don't want the heaviest gear because then you can't do like all of these bitch cranks that I'm doing because I can't do a manual properly. Got a 160 mil millimeter disc. For the tires, I'm running exactly the same setup as I've always done. The Continental Cross King 2.2 in the front without the protection wall because it's a bit lighter and you don't want too much rotating weight on your bike. Ah! Ah! Oh. Yeah! Not even hard. And for the back wheel, my tire setup is the Continental Race King 2.2 with the protection walls. Protection walls are pretty much just like a bit thicker sidewalls on the tire because that holds up a lot when we do like when we land sideways and stuff so they don't explode when we we're being sketchy. You just have to mount the chain, put on some pedals, then put on the front wheel and then we're done. But I mean look at that! Oh my god. Okay, so for chain, I am running SRAM PCX61, 11 speed chain. Uh, how can I be so excited about a new bike? Because this bike looks absolutely sick. It's That's my, why. But I mean, it's my job and it's like something is relatable to bikes every single day, 365 days all year round. It's always something about bikes every single day, even though it's just something little, but this is something else. I've never been this excited about a bike. Just the like freedom of just like being able to pick whatever I want and like decide colors and like just set up a bike how I want it to. Like, what is this too? Is this you? <laughs> Some black NS bikes, radiance pedals, as always. Like, I love these pedals. I would, I'm never gonna change. I feel like I'm, like, you guys probably think that I'm just plugging everything because they're my sponsors, but I like, I'm literally like, it's my favorite parts. Just trying to get rid of some unnecessary stickers. My favorite part. Yep. Putting on the YouTube stickers. I don't want any red on the bike, but I mean, you can't ditch the stickers, right? Last part deal! Get the front wheel on. Oh, oh my god. That's it! Yo! It's officially 100% completed. Wow, Theo. Oh, I 
keep, feel, feel like I keep saying this every time I build up a bike, but this is by far like the most insane bike I've ever owned in my whole life, and I've owned quite a lot of like quite a lot of them. I'm so stoked about this. Should I give it like a just a, like a quick roll around here? Yeah, try it out. Get the the tires dirty. So insane. So that bike looks so cool. But anyways, I think this bike build is done. We're gonna go try out the bike at a pump track in Upland's Aspie. I'm heading to Hawaii on Monday with Sam Pilgrim. You guys probably already know who that is, but if you don't, that's like a that's a, a friend of mine from the UK and he's a professional bike rider just as me. He rides for Monster Energy and uh, we're gonna go and film a cool video and we got some insane stuff planned out so you guys are gonna get you guys are in for a treat when you're gonna watch that video one more i'm just so stoked about this thanks to all my sponsors for making this happen this is insane like this is my literally a dream coming true to build up a bike like this and i'm so so freaking stoked about it hope you guys like this video i know you guys have been itching for this bike build video of this bike in particular so I hope I lived up to your expectations and made a cool video for you guys. Thank you guys a lot for watching my video. Remember to like, subscribe and comment on this video if you want. Like, I mean, I won't judge you if you don't and I won't get mad at you. I just, yeah, whatever. But anyways, thanks a lot again. Uh, see you in the next two days. Is that going to be from Hawaii or is it going to be? I don't even know. We'll see. We'll see. Anyways, thank you guys a lot. Peace.